Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Sunny, and this is your weekly for April 18th, 2016. Side note, for those who have ordered a special with me, I'm going to send your special very, very soon. After I get done recording this video, I'm going to record some specials. Um, and also stay tuned towards the end because I'm going to give insight upon love for the elements for this week as well. So let's start with my Scorpios. I just put out three cards for you guys. Okay, my Scorpios, this is going to be a very interesting week when it's involving your emotional side. I do feel like many of you, you are going to be rewarded for your good behavior or uh, or there's going to be some sort of blessings from your divine God and angels. I do feel like this is going to be a really good time for you to speak words of wisdom or for you to have a great mentor. Um, I'm hearing a medium. Some of you, you may want to interact with a medium, like a spiritual medium, or maybe this is a court system and you're having to go through like a, a process or you're dealing with someone like before you, before you meet the judge, you're dealing with someone else. Some of you, there may be talks of divorce, but then for others, there may be a relationship blossoming. I do feel like this is going to be a very good time for you to be creative and just be mindful of your intentions uh, with yourself and with others. Also, this is going to be a fairly good time for um, speeches, presentations, and helping those in need. Hopefully you guys can have an awesome week this week. Let's see what's going on for my Saggies. Okay, my Sagittarius says there may be some emphasis going on with mother. Maybe you're thinking, maybe you're thinking about your mother during this time, or someone has become a mother, or they will become a mother very soon. I'm seeing that you guys, you are on a quest for growth, and you're on a quest for abundance. But I feel that this growth and abundance must start within you before you look for it externally. This is going to be a very good time to keep your thoughts positive because your angels and your God is listening to you. So be mindful of your energy because what you put out into the universe, they're going to give it back to you. Please be mindful of your emotional side and do what's best for others around you. Be mindful that your actions can affect those around you, whether this is positive or negatively. You may discover someone is sick and you may have to take care of them. I also feel for some of you, you may be fairly emotional and you may do things out of emotional greed or to fill in emotional voids. You may feel like things are too much to handle during this time. Understand that prayer would be very awesome for you. And just be mindful of your growth. Because I do feel like many of you, you have grown a very long, you have grown like a very, very long way. I do feel like some of you, there may be some traveling going on. Uh, I, there's a lot of water for you guys. So please be mindful of your emotional side during this time. Also, this is going to be really awesome for you guys to do creative things. Um, do things to release your anger in, in a creative ways. This week seems very beautiful, to be honest. So hopefully you guys can enjoy it. Let's see what's going on for my Capricorns. All right, my Capricorns, you may find yourself in a sticky situation this week. You may find that you are walking away from something that really meant a lot to you. Some of you, you are taking better care of yourself and you're looking more into what's important and what means a lot to you. Many of you, you're going to understand your self-worth during this time. There may be a relationship that you are paying more attention to than your own needs. Um... I do feel that relationships may be the centerfold. Relationships and money may be the centerfold for many of you this week. Be careful of you assessing over something or someone that is not with you during this time. Basically, be careful of you wanting to obsess over things that you cannot control, basically. This is going to be a really good time for family reunions or family issues or spending more time with children. There may be some birth coming up for many of you or you're just taking better care of your body some sort of income is coming in for many of you so that's really awesome some of you you may be moving or you may be quitting a job i feel that um for some reason i'm picking up on within eight weeks or eight months something that 
seemed very impossible to you is going to be more possible than ever before within eight weeks or eight months hopefully you guys enjoy that and have an awesome week let's see what's going on for my crazes I feel like the unexpected change is going to throw you for a loop whether this is just expenses or illness or having to move or having something added into the equation that you, you didn't expect I feel like for some of you this is going to be an awesome time for you to take care of your health because I do see that health may be an issue during this time especially if you've been indulging in very bad foods also some of you you may discover a pregnancy coming up and this may be for yourself or someone around you I do feel like you need to be mindful of someone being very greedy and fairly harsh with you you may discover some help from an um, unexpected force whether this is human force or spiritual force <laughs> I'm also picking up for some reason Native American heritage um, maybe you're discovering that you have Native American within your family I don't know um, or there may be something going on within a Native American culture this is going to be a very awesome time for you guys to be mindful of where your money is going and do not fall victim to someone's selfish needs or actions you may find that someone is trying to compete with you or someone is saying harsh things about you or someone is wishing bad about you and I feel like you're going to overhear this conversation or you're going to have dreams or feeling that something is not right with this individual if you are competitive during this time just make sure that it doesn't bite you in the ass later okay hopefully you guys can enjoy this week it seems fairly good to be honest um Pisces you guys had an extra card pop out okay so my Pisces I do feel like this is gonna be a very good time for you guys to remain strong some of you you may find yourself in love triangles or you may find yourself going through the consequence of a love triangle I feel like some of you there may be some illness going on or there's a lack within something maybe there's a lack of health or there's a lack of finances or you feel that you are just out on your own I feel like for some of you there's a sense of traveling and you're thinking about their future and you're thinking about what's best for you I do feel that your actions whether this is present or past will catch up with you do be careful of the things that you say during this time because it may bite you in the ass I do feel that um, this is going to be a really good time for you to face your demons and for you to understand why you've been in a negative place if you have been in a negative place. You may find yourself feeling restricted or feeling as if you don't have enough due to another person or due to your own, your own insecurities, I hate to say. Honestly, overall, I feel like this week is just going to let you guys know. I'm, I don't take this the wrong way, but I'm hearing if you're doing something wrong, it's going to become very apparent okay whether you want to hear it or not and I also feel like you're going to be aware if someone is taking money from you or if someone is lying to you but I do feel that traveling and focusing on changing yourself for the better is going to be very beautiful Hopefully you guys can enjoy this week. It seems fairly challenging, but very rewarding if you guys really understand how to handle it. Let's see what's going on for my Taurus. No, no, no. For my Aries. <laughs> Maybe Taurus, you can apply to this as well. Okay, so my Aries. I feel like this is going to be a fairly good time for you to... I feel like this week, honestly, just rest and wait. I feel like many of you, you're going to go through a process. Um, take this time to understand what you need to learn. You're going to learn a lot, okay? Whether this is for better or for worse, I do feel like you need to be mindful of what's around you and you need to be mindful of opportunities that are around you. Just take things slow. I feel like, yes, you may rush into something or you may just overlook a lot and it may hurt you because I feel that whatever it is that you're overlooking, or whatever it is that you will miss 
you're going to be like, oh my God, what, what, what did I do? What happened? Why did I do that? Many of you, there may be a sense of self-pity or self-torment going on, or you feel very disappointed. I do feel like there may be some legal issues going on, or there may be a separation between you or someone who you had high hopes for, someone who you put up at a pedestal. Or maybe some, maybe there's a job opportunity that you really wanted and you may not be getting it during this time. I also feel that some of you, there's a sense of everybody's going through karma. And I feel that some of you is going to hit you a lot. I also feel like this week is not this week. <laughs> this week um, may be mentally challenging for some of you. I'm seeing that extra expenses are going to have to be paid out. Especially if it's like legal issues, um, unpaid bills, loans, and you may have to pay out more than you have. But you will find a way. You will be okay. Like I said, this is going to be a really good time for you guys to just allow for the process to happen. Especially if you're waiting for something. Do not rush. Do not be too much into your head. Take this time to think positive things, okay? Let's see what's going on for my Taurus. If you guys want to, please watch um, the Aries video because as soon as I said, as soon as I got to their cards, I said Taurus. So maybe you guys uh, may relate to the Aries video. Okay, so my Taurus, I do feel like many of you, you're going to be in a, a fairly naive, hopeful energy. Um, you have faith that everything will work out, but I feel that a part of you, like, you aren't sure. I'm seeing that you're stuck between your logic and your emotional side. You may discover that past lovers are coming back or you're reminiscing about the past. You want to feel youthful again. You want to feel like you matter. You want to feel important. But I feel that either someone is giving you the cold shoulder or you don't, or you don't feel like things are the same or things will be the same. I also feel like this is going to be a really good time for you to find a balance within things and for you to just understand that things are happening for a reason. I honestly feel like this week is going to be very beautiful, but you need to overlook the things that you are lacking or the things that are very conflicting for you right now. I feel that things are happening for a reason and things are turning uh, in your favor and you are discovering things for a reason. Just know that like I said it's all happening for a reason it's okay this is gonna be an awesome time for you guys to learn more for you to research more rather this is with your job or with school because this sort of knowledge is gonna be beautiful for you I feel like some of you like you may be asking questions um, to learn more about something or someone is going to offer you some sort of guidance or promotion or some sort of hey you're doing a good job I feel I'm hearing like get well soon so maybe some of you like you're recovering for, from something or you may be um, visiting someone in the hospital during this time um, but I just feel like many of you like you're going to be reminiscing on the past a lot just be careful of you staying in the past okay you are in the present this week seems fairly good hope you guys can enjoy it happy birthday to those who are celebrating their birthday this week Alright, let's see what's going on for my Gemini's. Okay, my Gemini's. I feel like many of you, you've been waiting patiently towards something. You've been waiting on some sort of growth, uh, whether this is spiritually or financially. I feel that you may have a tough time listening to your angels because you don't you don't I feel like you are unsure if this is you or if this is something else speaking to you or if this is your angels. Take this time to do meditations or to cleanse your aura, especially your crown chakra. I also feel like you guys need to be more thankful of the things that you have. Stop focusing on the things that you do not have. I also feel 
that this is going to be an awesome time for releasing any burdens or any negative people from your life. Things may feel kind of cluttered or stagnated within your life, but just know that releasing those energies would be very helpful for you during this time. You may feel as if someone is on top of your case or someone isn't agreeing with you during this time, and that may be very hurtful for you because I feel like this is someone who you had feelings for, someone who you trusted, or someone who's related to you. And with this person being on top of you, like being on top of your case, or they are just saying harsh things to you, it's just like, I don't know who you are anymore. I feel like you need to make peace with yourself or with this person in order for you to see the blessing of this whole challenge. This is also going to be a very good time for you to stop expecting the worst, if you are. Or just be mindful of your expectations during this damn time. I feel that you guys, like, you may need a shoulder to cry on, but I also feel like you need tough love. Like, out of nowhere, like, I just wanted to be your mom, and I just wanted to say, toughen up. You're going to be okay. Hold your head up. Like, I just wanted to be your mom. <laughs> That's funny. You may discover that people are lying to you, or you're discovering, I feel like many of you, like, you're discovering secrets from a long-ass time ago. Like, if you discover that you were married for 13 years, and out of the 13 years, your wife or husband cheated on you for for three years like and if y'all aren't married anymore throw it away like bye don't even worry about shit you can't control don't worry about things that happened in the past because it's in the past like oh well i also feel like some of you like you may be wanting to be more by yourself to reflect and to heal yourself because i do see that this is going to be a very mental time for you you may feel kind of sluggish during this time like i said please cleanse your aura also Eating vegetables and fruit would be very awesome for you. I do feel like this is going to be a very good time for you to remain quiet about any present and or future um, projects or goals that you have during this time. Some of you, you may feel as if someone is stealing your ideas or you feel defeated because everyone else is doing the same thing. I also feel like there's going to be some sort of foolishness going on and it's going to make you feel... Like, what did I do wrong? Or it's going to make you feel like, um, very stabbed in the back. Put, try your best to not let this energy get to you, okay? Have an awesome week. Let's see what's going on for my cancers. Alright, cancers, I do feel that the emphasis this week are on career and tying up loose ends. Whoever is trying to come back within your past, I feel like you're thinking about this person and I feel like you you wouldn't mind having this person in your life, but you're just in the mindset of, I, I just want to focus on my future. So beautiful. I love this energy. Be careful of you having doubts and fears within something new that has come within your life either three days I'm uh, starting either three days ago or three weeks ago or three months ago I feel like this is more recent as in three days or maybe three weeks more three days though I will say like three to four days <sighs> maybe five like three to five days I feel like there is an opportunity that's being granted to you and it's allowing for you to think more long term within your life I also feel that many of you, you may be more adventurous during this time or you may be more sensitive during this time, meaning you are able to pick up on in, of energies from other peoples or spirits. I do feel like there's a sense of intimidation going on, whether you're trying to intimidate somebody or someone is trying to do the same for you. I feel like who needs to walk out of your life, you need to let them go. Don't force anything. I feel like there's going to be some sort of secret coming to the light involving a relationship. And I feel like this person is something red involving them. Maybe they have red hair. Maybe they have red skin. Um, maybe they have rosy cheeks. Maybe their name is red. Maybe they're a fire sign. I just feel like there's going to be some sort of secret involving this person. But I also feel like many of you, like you're really thinking about the future and you are ready to go through life. But I do feel like you are kind of fearful or, or like you're kind of doubting, you know, this new opportunity or relationship, whatever the case may be. I feel like you will know that you are on the right track or not within three weeks or three months. 
So just keep your head up and just deal with it. Honestly, I feel like this week is going to be very beautiful, especially for future ideas, okay? Let's see what's going on for Malayos. All right, my Leos, I do feel like there may be a sense of disappointment going on for some of you. Do be careful of you focusing on things that have fallen off, things that feel that don't feel complete, or something that you've really put your all into. I feel for some of you, you may there may be a, a loss within a relationship or there's a lack within a relationship. I do feel like there's a sense of disappointment, but I mean, let it go. Like, you have to live your life. Do be careful of you chasing after someone or just chasing after a situation that seems out of your reach right now. I feel like if it's meant to be, it will come back to you. Also, this is going to be a beautiful time for you guys to receive some honest, okay, some honest news, whether you want to hear it or not. I also feel like the emphasis may be on children. Or people who are acting like children. This is going to be a really good time for you to work with your children if they are having attitude issues or behavior issues. And also you need to be careful of you, like I said, like rushing into stuff or chasing after things. I feel like this is going to be a really good time for you guys to remain hopeful. And to be mindful of where your attention is right now. Some of you, there may be some issues going on with your car or you're thinking about getting a new car. A beautiful time for planning. Don't make any sudden movements right now. Just plan, okay? If you plan to have someone in your life, I guess improve yourself. And if they come back, awesome. Plan to have a new car, plan to have a new home. I just feel like you need to take baby steps because right now you are in the stage of learning more about something and just seeing the potential within something okay but I feel like honestly overall you need to be mindful of your focus I feel like you want something to blossom and and, and it will happen in due time I feel like whoever you're waiting for they may come back towards the end of this year maybe early next year okay and I feel that if you have children, you just need to focus on your children or you need to focus on your inner child. You need to focus on you. You need to focus on what's making you happy, what's not making you happy. And whatever is not making you happy, walk away from it. Hope you guys can enjoy this week. Stay blessed. Let's see what's going on for my Virgos. All right, my Virgos, I do see that there may be a fear within something or you're kind of hesitant to start a new beginning. You don't want to seem foolish. You don't want to be judged. And that's okay. But I do feel that many of you, there's new opportunities being granted to you and there's something new being offered to you. You just need to take the extra leap of faith and you need to be open to it. Trust your intuition. Trust your gut. What is it telling you? Is if it's saying, hey, go through it, then go through it. If it's saying, wait it out a little bit, then wait it out. Um, I do feel like some of you, you may find yourself being surrounded with catty energy or you may discover frenemies during this time. Maybe some hatred during this time. And, they may, and that may hurt you or others may feel as if you're being stuck up. I mean, it is what it is. I do feel like many of you, you are going to help someone through a, tr uh, through a tricky situation or someone is going to help you through a tricky situation. I also feel like, I don't know if I said this earlier, but I'm going to say it again. There's thoughts of future and things are becoming more clear and you are becoming more aware of things. I'm also seeing that the sky is the limit. Do what you want just make sure you're doing it to benefit you and it's a beautiful thing it seems like a beautiful week for many of you so stay blessed and enjoy it let's see what's going on for my um libras i couldn't think <laughs> okay so i'm seeing that this is going to be a very beautiful week for allowing things to fall into place I feel like this is going to be a really good time for many of you to socialize, get out there, um, make a name for yourself, but protect yourself. This is also going to be a really good time for you 
to adapt uh, to new things. I feel like something new is going on with your body, whether this is for better or for worse, and you're going to have to find ways to deal with it. Some of you, there may be talks of a pregnancy. I'm also picking up that many of you, this is going to be a very good time for you to do something new in the morning. Like maybe exercise in the morning, maybe do meditations in the morning. I feel like many of you, you are going to receive signs and blessings from your angels to point you to ways of balance. Because uh, balance is very important for many of you for this week. I also feel that this week is going to be very successful. But I feel that like you need to be mindful of you doing too much or you have a lot on your plate. This week seems very busy. And you're going to have to be able to do things just in a, a right time frame. Maybe, maybe there's an expectation upon a, a deadline or you just you know need to be mindful of all that you can get done this week like I said seems very busy you're going to socialize you're going to meet new people you may meet a new lover hell um maybe you're getting signs from your God or your angels and I feel like something is too much maybe someone is too much but honestly if you guys are able to put things in a proper place understand that you need to be stable minded <laughs> as you go through these things you will be okay I feel like this week is very beautiful to be honest I feel like either something is going out of your life or something is coming into your life in order for you to find that balance I also feel that if someone is going out of your life this was very toxic for you and this person during this time and it's time for you and this person to um, find ways on developing yourself in order for you to come back together whether this is love um, business partnership or friendship I feel like you need to be careful of you carrying on other people's baggage just take care of yourself during this time so hopefully all of you can enjoy your week alright so important messages when it comes to love for the week of April 4th for my fire signs Okay, so someone from your past is returning in your life. So be mindful of someone returning, whether it's positive or negative. <laughs> and whoever this person is, it's up to you to really decide on if you want to be with them or not. I do feel like this person will be okay for the time being, but I feel that someone is going to be too clingy. Or you're just going to really reminisce upon the past a lot okay um like you're reminiscing on the good times i just honestly overall i feel like there's going to be a sense of unhappiness to be honest or this will not last very long so do what you want to do with this person know that they're coming back for a reason if you want to release the karmic cord with this person you can if you want to understand the lesson with this person you can just make sure that you put yourself first at all times Important message for um, love for my water signs. Release your ex. Time has come to clear your energy. So, release your ex. Okay? Whether this is past ex or recent ex. Their energy is still clinging on to you. And it's time for you to let it go. Especially if you kept trying with this person. And you wasn't getting the results that you wanted. I feel that with you releasing your ex, it's going to allow for new love to come in, to be honest. And I feel like this is going to be new love that you deserve. And I feel that whoever's going to come in, it's going to be a beautiful soulmate. And it's going to be very safe for you to love again. So if you are single, um, or if you just gotten out of a relationship, then let them go and just move on. Important message for love for this week for my earth signs trust this situation is calling for you to have faith so have faith that everything will work out for better or for worse um i feel like honestly like take this time to trust yourself or trust the situation i feel like if you want to talk to somebody about your situation you can i feel that no matter what 
your god and your angels will guide you in a beautiful direction i feel some of you there may be a break going on within your relationship or there has been a break and i feel that the connection between you and your partner like it hasn't been the same and i feel like either you were too clingy or this other person was too clingy and now it's time for you to understand the love for yourself and once you do this a new love will come in or someone who you um or just someone like i feel like someone is coming back i don't know why and i feel like some of you like there may be an engagement i feel like a past lover is going to come back someone who you have a past life with someone who you who you are familiar with that's interesting um but let's see what's going on for my air signs for this week when it's involving love honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so if you are partnered up then really appreciate each other understand what you guys got together understand the relationship and how you can do things to make it grow and more stable if you are single i feel that you need to find someone who makes you genuinely happy but i feel like you guys need to wait like just wait i'm picking up like wait for sex i'm hearing some of you you may find really good times uh with someone new ooh, ooh, don't fall pay attention to the red flags i will also say be careful of you being in the honeymoon phase especially like if this is a new relationship or a new friendship um because the cupcake stage and the honeymoon phase can just be all about fantasy and you're just like googly eyed and you're like you're not thinking responsibly about the relationship but no matter what um, just always trust yourself during this time and if you feel weirdness with this person then just take things so and always talk it out hopefully you guys can enjoy this message good luck with everything and I will be back whenever bye